It's not in the case. It's not going to be as bad. Well, it's still that switch, 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 switch. Oh. We ain't water. swimming. There's sharks and alligators, man. Life about. is a breeze. <laughs> Life can be a breeze. Baby, oh my gosh. If you would let me spend my whole life loving you, life could be a breeze. Sweetheart, hello, right. hello again. I say we go that way and then breeze back this way. Catch me a fish, we'll just Jim. sit right here. We're not going out any further. I already feel sprinkles. Alright. See, we good. Can't let that little bit of intimidation scare you. That's all it is. It's in, in, intimidation. Alright. We got one from Jeff Hyman. Oh, we can stick this on the paddle boat. Huh. Don't you get my black messed up? Chris, Holly, and Elion, American Pride. America, see if we can stick it right here, upside down. Damn right. <laughs> That'd be kind of cute. Stick stickers on our paddle boat. <laughs> that would kind of be cute. Just fill it full of stickers. You'd have to get some of that plastic film to put over it and protect it. <laughs> Don't they sell that? They sell waterproof stickers, like yeah. the ones they put on boats. Alright, Jeff, let's see. Okay, let's see what Elyon's belt buckle looks like. Here, you want to open it? Don't drop it. I gotta hit that spot right there by them lily pads. Okay, so for, um, most of you already know, but um, for the ones who, who uh, are not familiar with what we're doing, we're actually raising money for a homestead and these are the letters that um, a lot of people have donated to our GoFundMe but mommy <laughs> oh, that's so cool <laughs> sit down dude that's so cool daddy look <laughs> well, so, let me see it's a belt buckle dang that's pretty dang cool man so um, a lot of folks have sent money um, to our GoFundMe fundraiser and um, some folks decided that they would prefer to send the, the paper snail mail and um, that's what we're doing here if, uh, if you're not really up to speed on our channel. Then focus on fishing and oh, no. we are we are two <laughs> rednecks without a job don't work. I thought you were about to say if you're not into the snail mail and focus on the pedal boat and fish. So um, that's that's what we're uh, that's what we're doing at this time in our lives. We don't have a uh, physical home address at the moment. We are living our lives from campground to campground and having fun and um, just enjoying enjoying this summer while we can because once we have a home we're gonna have to focus on mortgage payments and utility bills and we will have a, a rather normal life at that point but I we like will we will, our channel will start to focus on um, home you know fixing up the home that we do end up purchasing which would be awesome and we have our minds dead set on not renting again so yeah Either we're going to be homeowners or we're going to die. <laughs> what? Those are our two choices? Yeah. Either we find a home or we die. Wow, we got it like all, all like peaceful. Uh, yeah, I told you, man. I all right, this you. is from Dorothy Osborne. When you're in chaos, you just can't panic. You got to see through the bullshit. Can we just tie the boat to something, please? Tie your mom. Dorothy Osborne says, Hey, my beautiful friends, I thought I thought Elyon would 
like the Firefly notepad and stickers. I pray for you all so often and I love the joy in your video. God bless. Dot. So Dorothy is Dot. Let's see. What is, what is Dot talking about here? Oh, that is cute. <laughs> she picked out paper that she thought Ellie on would like. She said you could draw on that. Oh, I'm sorry guys. It's just a little mason jar full of fireflies. Cute. And she said you can draw on that one. I didn't know if you brought your crayons or not. And bring them. Oh! What? $100 donation. <laughs> now that, that is absolutely, that's, that, amazing. that is uh, amazing. Because we do actually, um, I don't know if it's going to One house is amazing. It's on four acres. It has a pond. And it has two, basically two houses with like a hallway from one house to the other. So yeah, it's two double wides on four acres of the pond. And we... Really want it. We We're really interested want it, in it. But the people who... There are people living in it now and they're using COVID as... They're, uh, they're using the thing. Yeah. Just call it the thing. They're using that to, to not have that to leave, thing to not, not have to leave move. the house. So that's what's really holding us up on viewing that house. But we're, we really, really want to see this house. But the people are pulling the, uh, we don't have to go because it's a pandemic. So that's, that's using what that all is. all the most wonderful words, Holly. <laughs> Damn, I called a stick. Oh, oh, this one's from Tammy Farmer. Chris, Holly, and Elion, I love you guys. You are good people. Um, you, sorry, I'm not wearing my glasses. This is dumb for me to be trying to read with. Are you serious? <laughs> no, it's so stupid. Okay. Um, I love you just the way you are. Never change. I pray y'all's dreams come true for you. I start over, I'm starting over in life as well, um, being married for 32 and a half years, it's hard on your own out there. Y'all be safe. I have no friends here in North Carolina, but watch all your shows, they, your shows are my friends, Aww. Aww. We're your YouTube fam. That's so sweet, yeah, definitely. In the 1950s, when I was a kid, we had a travel show on TV. <laughs> what? Say what? Funny, I look back at that TV show now, and I thought, what was I watching? All this beautiful scenery in black and white. Oh, her TV. Oh, okay. It was in the 1950s, and she was watching a travel show, and it was all in black and white. I really enjoy the scenery on your show. Yes, put beach towels on the seats. Won't be too hot when you sit down. Yeah. Elion, my favorite are lightning bugs and swimming. <laughs> I don't want you to, I don't want any of this to get lost. YouTube family. <laughs> All right, well, I'm just putting everything right back. Get through there, dang it. All right. Let's see if we can do any better with this. Doris Surratt. Coolest thing to throw it out there. Oh, no. Let's see. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. 
getting hung up. Struggling. Mm -hmm. Best of blessings to come your way. A forever home for your family um, and visitors, for I know you'll have many. I have bought a candle from Holly and a pipe from Chris and still reaping the pleasures of each. Here are some pics. Awesome. Here are some pics from your videos I paused on my TV. <laughs> I took the pictures and made a book to remember Daddy. our time as a YouTube family. Aww. Daddy. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm 66 years old on a fixed income, but I definitely want to help y'all get the health so that we can keep watching you living the dream. Dang right. <laughs> Aww. Let's see what picture she she paused. Is this a cheeseburger eclipse? What is this? <laughs> Looks like a cheeseburger eclipse. Hmm. <laughs> what do you think that is? Like from what video? That is so crazy. I, I can't no even figure idea. out. Uh, literally, doesn't that look like a cheeseburger eclipse? It's actually kind of a cool picture. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what it's from though. Thank you, Doris. That was actually really cool to look at those. Heck yeah. And Doris sent $40 for the homestead. Wow, thank you so much. And all of the uh, all of the money that we're getting from this uh, letter opening is going straight into the savings account. And at the end of this video, I will update you guys on the total. There's no way I can do this in my head. Let's see. Uh, Grace Pride. Dear Chris, Holly, and Elian, I'm sorry if this is late. It's not late. <laughs> Um, here's my contribution to your permanent home. I wish it was a lot more. I would, I would buy one and let you pay it off <laughs> if I could. Be sure and get something big enough. God has plans to bless you. Um, that's what the Bible says. Jesus, Jesus is going to return soon. I've, I've been hearing this a lot from my Christian friends. Like they really feel it. Like he's coming yeah. soon. And, um, to return, yes, to return. Um, take care of yourselves, love, hugs, and kisses. Great. Oh, it's Grapes. Grapes 68. Oh, dang. She bought Elian his first little four wheeler, yeah. didn't she? Yep. Oh, she a hundred dollars. Dang. Hundred dollars for Grace Pride. Thank you. They're, 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 we're not showing the four wheelers, that's just. Grape 68 is who bought you Remember, the Remember the little four-wheeler with the uh, music on it? Yeah. The blue one? Yeah. And it had lights? Yeah. Oh, he loved that one. He and loved ran that over one. it? <laughs> Did I run over it or drop a tree on it? I think I ran over it. Well, thank you, Grace. But it was the same day I was cutting that tree and trimming them tree branches. I, I actually have this, um, this, this weird uh, belief that um, you know, a lot of Christians think, think that they're going to be raptured, but my belief is that it's kind of going to be the opposite. It's going to be God is going to take all of the evil and the bad people out of the world so that we can remain here and enjoy it the way that it was meant to be. And the Book of Enoch talks about that in the very first chapter. The very, very first chapter of the Book of Enoch talks about the time in the Great Tribulation where God comes down to... Um, remove all of the evil and the evil doers from the earth and you know it's, it's kind of a strange way to think about the rapture but that's the way I kind of see it I don't see any reason for God to remove all of the Christian people from this earth when he wants the earth to belong to his followers but I'm not I'm not a, I'm, not a, I'm not a preacher I, I don't know it's just a thought um, this is from, no name? Oh, Sue, Fa I'm not sure if it's Phage or Fade, but it's Sue. Um, Holly, Chris, and Elian, I don't do online donating because I'm old school. <laughs> so here's a little cash towards your new house. I've been watching since Elian was a baby. Love you guys. It takes the community to help each other out whenever we can. You have a unique group from all over the world to help you out and that's very special. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you, Sue. And she has yeah. a, um, she has a little dragonfly <laughs> on the card. That's so cool. So that's forty dollars from Sue. Thank you so much. It's gonna be fun to add it all up at the end. All right. Oh, something's got my nose itching. It's all the all the natural wonders of of the environment around us. Praying that you find the perfect home for your family. Love you guys and keep the vlogs coming. She was very sweet and to the point. <laughs> Chris Allen, let's see. Two hundred dollars. Chris Allen, that is absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah. Dang. Well. We get in the house, y'all. I feel it. I feel like it's gonna be. Oh, we're I, gonna I get a it. house. We're getting a house. It can't go on like this forever. You know, all this sunshine and and you know paddle boating and. I mean, it's rough, man. Beach bumming this can't is it rough. can't last forever. It's hard work. <laughs> It is fun and it's very enjoyable memories, but I would really, you know, I would like to get into something where we can start, you know, doing our farm and garden and, you know, you get your workshop running. And yes, this is, this is very enjoyable. I'm not going to complain. It really is. But I'd like to start working on a house. Let's see. This is Angel, Angel Howie, Hoy. Dear Chris, Holly, and Elion, I was on Facebook on your Circle of Friends page and one of your subscribers suggested that if all of your followers just sent a dollar or two, you could get the down payment for your house. I thought that was a great idea, so I am in it for five dollars. Good luck. I hope everyone, um, I hope everyone that says they were going to send money are going to follow through. Your subscriber, Angel Boy. Aw. Alright, I gotta put that little <laughs> thing on. Thank here. you, Angel. Yeah, good grief if um if every one of our subscribers sent five dollars we'd oh, be we, we could get a freaking <laughs> nice we wouldn't even need a down payment, we'd just buy a dang house. <laughs> but the funny thing is is when you have um fifty five fifty five thousand subscribers you only have like really, really half that. Yeah, you only have like maybe twenty maybe twenty. Cause those are the twenty thousand people that continuously watch your videos, so but hey, those tw the, the people out of that 20,000, they're, they're all very, very thoughtful and, and amazing people. So I'd rather have a, a, smaller, a smaller group of amazing people that cared about me than, you know, a million subscribers that, you know, just... True that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let's see. This is... Um, J. Greg, Greg, Gabby. Oh gosh, I'm sorry, guys. It's not your handwriting. It's my eyes. <laughs> I can't see. Holly blind today. <laughs> it looks like J. Greg, Gabby's goods. Seems like I've heard that name. Yeah, it does sound familiar. Um, hey guys, Holly, Chris, and Elion. I hope you all are having a good time camping. It looks like a lot of fun. Have you seen any gators or crocodiles? I hope not. <laughs> Elion is so adorable how he picks up animals and reptiles and bugs. It is so cute. Um, so sorry sending this late. You're not late. Not at all. <laughs> um, let's see. God has sent you all signs, absolutely amazing signs, that um, your house is coming soon. Gabby's Goods, a.k.a. Jen. Oh, is that Jay? Okay, Jen. Oh, and $25 on each card. Oh. What are the cards to you? <laughs> what is it? What is it? Yeah. Hey, we are. ending up in a hole over That's here. That's $25 worth of iced coffee for me. What? <laughs> the Starbucks? Kidding. It didn't have my name on it. <laughs> and the other one is for... The Cheesecake Factory! What? <laughs> Where's our other Cheesecake Factory card? Better be in the truck? Yeah, I hope so. Because now we got two of them. 
Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's in. It's in the envelope in the truck. You did. So we got two of them. We're going to Cheesecake Factory. Wow, dang right. Yeah, we're we're set for the Cheesecake Factory now. Thank you so much, you guys. <laughs> that is, is awesome. awesome. All right. Yeah, thank you, Jen. Gabby's. Don't think I'm good. being like unappreciative or anything just because I'm fishing. No, I think this works out well. Yeah. How about that? Is that cool? Yeah. All right. Now people can see you. Oh, that only took half an hour to figure out. Look at that tiny turtle. He tiny. He is tiny. He ain't even a turtle. It's a knot on the wall. <laughs> Tough. There was a knot on the log and I thought it was a tiny turtle. That's tough. Oh gosh, I'm so old. <laughs> May the key that opens your front door be more than that to you. This card stood out to me, must mean something. Uh, Sharon from Taylor, Michigan. Think positively. I had to join Team Holly, Chris, and Ellie on positive thoughts for you finding a new house. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Sharon. That's really sweet. All right. What about this present? I want to put that where? And what about this present? <laughs> Elion's actually carrying around the little tiny books <laughs> that Kelly got him. <laughs> no, it's not books, it's a present. Well, they're cute little tiny books, that's for sure. Those are nice. Uh, this one's from Marie uh, Labar. Let's see. Um, I live in the Poconos, not real far from Great Wolf Lodge. Watched when you were there. Um, sending you five dollars for your house fund. I hope that I hope this helps. I've been a viewer for years and enjoy your show. Hoping and praying the best for y'all to find a place to dive soon. <laughs> she just cares about us getting back to dumpster diving. <laughs> Loving Christ, Marie. Thank you, Marie. Yeah, we, I don't know. Dumpster diving is kind of well, different these, t these days too, you know? Everything's yeah. different. Once we buy a house, then we have to find us a abandoned storage unit to buy an abandoned storage facility mm. to buy mm -hmm. and, and, turn it, storage and turn facility. it into a flea market <laughs> then we don't have to take our sales stuff anywhere we just store it and yeah. have our own flea market now that would be living the dream <clears throat> okay this is from Camille Bisri hello Chris Holly and Elion please find money order specifically for your new place Um, you know, I did not realize how expensive land is. I think one acre of land is 10,000 where I am at. Location, 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 location. Shop around. Chris, I recall you saying that you would be happy with an acre. I think that's smart thinking. What? Please um, shop for land. You could build a house on, on an acre. Yeah, that's... We have been thinking about that. Dang! <laughs> I mean, we're already camping all summer. Might as well buy us some land and build us a campground. Yeah. Some cabins. I'm down. I've told a Holly, oh, I'm over it. I'm, I'm down. I wish the very best for you all. I hope one day we can meet for lunch or dinner. <laughs> we um, could, like, if we bought five acres of land or something, we could literally build cabins off, off the with the trees. Yeah. Oh, Camille sent $100. Mm, thank you so much. I've never actually had a check made out to two people before. That's not a check. I mean a money order. It don't matter what it's really... Well... Thank you, Camille. That's actually awesome. It's getting hot. 
Oh, getting hot. Just so, just so she's on both sides. Whoever grabs all the money and runs, <laughs> they still cash. Grabs <laughs> all the money and runs. Uh, this is from Elizabeth Cass. Thought you might need some help with camping. Uh, <laughs> she sent Walmart. us a Walmart card. <laughs> Actually, yeah, we can always use Walmart. Oh, always. Yeah. This is where we get our groceries. We, oh, we go to Walmart fishing supplies. all the time. <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you, Elizabeth. Who sent you this card? Elizabeth Cass. Who is Elizabeth Cass? She's someone who watches our YouTube channel. Huh. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Oh, there's another one from Elizabeth Cass. Oh, I had so many cards. <laughs> she said to. Let's see. Is it for me? <laughs> for you. Uh, dear Holly, I saw your video today, and I know that this move is upsetting, but I believe everything happens for a reason. Well, I don't know which video she's talking about. Um, I really truly believe that God is leaving, leading you to your final resting place, just like he did for Abraham in Genesis 12:13. Elizabeth. Well, that's cool. <laughs> Let's see. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Too many. <laughs> Too many. I feel like no matter what happens, he's always leading you somewhere. Oh, yeah. Just the little Everything things. Everything literally happens for a reason. You get a flat tire, it literally happens for a reason. Yep. He's whether it's to you meet from someone or yeah, whether he's <laughs> whether he wants you to uplift that person that's coming to help you or or maybe he's yep. buying you time to avoid something. I mean you just never know, but that's how big and powerful and great he is, you know. Um K Ballsley. Um, hope you had a good 4th of July. <laughs> this is a gift, and I hope you can find a place that you can plant a garden at. Hope, um, money pours in for you. I see nothing wrong in asking for help. Um, people are more than willing to see someone's dreams come true, and God will open doors I'm for you. I'm glad that came out. When you trust and believe and ask Him. Love, K. Hope. How about that catch? Oh my gosh. And Kay sent five dollars. Thank you. Thank you. It's a cute little card. <laughs> little bird. <laughs> What's this? This year. Alright, this didn't act this didn't take quite as long as I thought. We only have like four left. What's this? And I need a shower. Ugh, I would love to jump into this water, but I know I can't. You can, but... Yeah, I'm too scared of the snakes. Take some balls to jump mm -mm. in this water. I'm scared. I cannot believe I haven't had one bite this whole time. What the heck? Janetta Townsend. What's up, Janetta? Dada. <laughs> I'm with up in Dada. Let's see. Janetta sent $20. Well, uh, I hope this finds you um, doing great. Just wanted to say how much I love anything. Oops. Just wanted to say how much I love watching your videos. You inspire so many people. I also hope you have grand adventures camping. I've enclosed a money order to put it towards your forever home. It's not much, but I hope it helps. Every little bit helps. It all adds up. Um, I wish that I lived closer so that when you get your new house, I could gift you with some of my iris, iris plants. Oh, I would love that. <laughs> they were my mother's favorite flowers. Um, anyway, don't let people drag you down. You're better than that. They need prayers. Daddy hmm. got one. I caught a dang log. Again. Grief. <laughs> You kids have the gift of uplifting people, and for a while that makes us forget about our problems. Whenever I feel down, I go back and watch some of your videos. I've showed my husband Chris's woodworking, and he says, That young man sure has some serious talent. <laughs> Thank you. 
I love watching your candle making videos and all of your makeovers and renovations. You're both so amazing. Sending much love, Janetta. Aww. Thank you, Janetta. <laughs> Thank you so much. Tell hubby I said thanks. Lydia Penzar. Is it for me? Is it for me? This is for all of us to get a new house. They're sending us they're sending us um, donations to help us get into a house so that you'll have a new house. Remember how much you like the red house? Yeah. Well, we're going to have a new house someday. Give me so much. Yeah, they are. They really are. Um, mm. Linda Pens Penzar. That's a that's a hard one. Um, she sent $50. Wow, it looks printed. <laughs> it looks really nice. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I can put like, down. I don't know if you can see that, but it looks nice. Very nice handwriting. Um, the Lord has moved me to give you this check. I know it's not much, but please add it to your homestead account. We are all expecting a great miracle as we support and believe in um, support and believe in you. We have faith. Years ago in the 70s, I too prayed for a house and wrote down a list to God what house, what the house needed to have. I wanted a two-bedroom house with a fireplace, a good yard for the kids, and a rental unit to help pay for the mortgage at a price I could afford, and I got exactly what I prayed for. Wow. <clears throat> but I should have prayed for a three-bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> When you pray, ask God to cover all the things you may need in the future that you don't know that you need now. I stayed in that house until my children were grown. God opened a new chapter in my life, and now I'm living in Arizona. Life is an adventure. God bless your family. Love, Lydia. That's so cool. Thank you. <laughs> That's actually what really cool. What a sweet letter. Yeah. And thank you so much for the donation. Yes. Dang right. So, um, I will definitely, uh, I will add this up and, and add it to the edited video because I don't know how much we actually got. Um, and I will also let everyone know the total amount that we have in savings at that point. And, um, the house hunt isn't over until we find a house. I mean, the... Our homestead, um, our fundraiser is, is not over until we find a house. And then... Um, and a lot of people are like, why aren't you house hunting, blah, blah. We are. I mean, just because we're not looking at houses on video, we're online looking yeah. for what works for us. And so there are few in between, whatever. Yeah. So, so every time we do find one that we're really interested in, we do work on going towards it and heading that way and looking for it yeah we waited a little while on this four acre house Let's with a pond home. we were really wanting that one and just we'd just been waiting he said that there was people living there and there's so he has been staying in touch and keeping us up to date um he actually really likes the fact that we're youtubers he actually has no problem with that he likes it and he would love to be on one of our videos if if we can ever actually get to the house and look at it uh, but he does um he does keep us updated so if we do um if this house is meant for us the only the only downside about it is um he's asking fifteen thousand dollars down so that's a, a little hurdle that we're trying to get past. If it, if it does get to a point where the people leave and the house is ready to be moved into, um, we're just going to have to figure out what to do about the down payment at that point. Mommy. Um, when we, <laughs> I'm thinking, um, I'm thinking we're going to have about, my guess is like maybe 12,000, maybe. So that's that's the that's the only hurdle with that house but maybe he'll he'll go down on the on how much he's asking but as soon as we go to see that house we'll definitely bring you guys with us because we are excited about that one um 
but it seems like the ones that we get excited about it just doesn't work out and when it doesn't work out we don't get like bummed out we just know that god's like closing that door he's like this isn't the one this isn't the one and um and we know that it, you know in the right time we'll find we'll find the it's right it's gonna house. work out we're, we're gonna get the right one yeah no doubt in my mind and absolutely we i mean we we could never we couldn't have we could not have gotten this far without you guys the the donations um between gofundme and paypal uh, and right here like this this right here this is nothing but love this is nothing but love and thank you so there's much. no way we could have done this on our own it's awesome um it's amazing that we have like basically ten thousand dollars down on a house right yeah. now that's amazing because of you guys so yeah. so now we're just playing the waiting game until like we find the right one yeah you know so and we're having trouble getting financed um as far as a mortgage so now we're kind of looking for whatever owner deal financing. owner financing or yeah owner financing these um, freaking cabins are nice after all that work we did camping like dude we were so tired after that five days of camping we were exhausted because you're setting up and yep. you're constantly going all day until you go to sleep for it's, days it's constantly straight constantly hot it's con you're oh constantly yeah sweating. oh yeah it was you're constantly very hot. getting eaten yeah. by mosquitoes so this is a very very nice relaxing break yeah and knock on wood, but oh my gosh, I have not been terrorized by mosquitoes since we've been here. I mean, a couple bites here and Thank there, but God. nothing. Oh man, nothing. yeah, I forgot about that too. They were it's murdering. It's so peaceful us. here. Even at night in the tent, they they would get in and you couldn't kill them all, so you would go to sleep and you would literally have to cover up at night for them not to get you. And then it's kind of hot, you know. Yeah. All we had was that one battery fan blowing on us. But we survived and had a blast. Yeah. But I out. am I am ready at some point to start really working on our, our house and and I ain't rushing it. I'm no. enjoying myself. I'm just no, going while with it's, the flow. While it's nice and it, um making <laughs> making entertaining content. I guess I'm gonna just say this and maybe I'll cut it out later, but um, I just wanted to make it clear, uh, mainly to the people who, who are worth explaining to, I would like to make it clear that when we, um, when we're out here enjoying ourselves, you know, living at campgrounds, living in the treehouse, you know, we're using our own money. We're not using our savings as we promised we would not. And just to hear some of the comments, like just saying people are giving us money and we're blowing it on just the haters we we try stuff. we try not to give any of that a response but we care about yeah you it's the guys people that i care about we care that. about our youtube family that loves us and yeah. we want to let you know that you have to understand cool. that we were paying there's always these little people they're like little like like mosquitoes yeah it's like they're like little mosquitoes we paying, in the comments trying to get we were paying rent up. we were paying utility bills we were paying electric bills we were paying internet bills we were paying water bills we were paying a, a trailer payment, which we don't pay anymore. So it's like we were making all these payments, but now we don't have to make those payments so we can go have fun. You know, it's and it's yes, it is a temporary situation. Yeah. And this is how we're living our lives right and now. And every everyone not using our savings yeah. money. We're every, not doing that. Every once in a while, we'll spend like maybe a splurge a little bit on a This cabin. was cheaper than a hotel. <laughs> yeah, this, but sometimes we have to get a hotel or whatever, maybe to get out of the weather or stay somewhere in between. I never want to stay at a hotel again. Our, <laughs> I love this or place. Or somewhere, stay. <laughs> you, we have to have somewhere to stay in between our adventures. Yeah. You know, when we so. can't find a campground, we absolutely have to stay in a hotel. Um, Chris actually just fixed up the trailer so that we could at least put the mattress in the trailer in case of emergency where we cannot but, find anything else. But when it's pouring down rain, you don't want to leave the doors of the trailers or it's open. it's hot as balls. There's no canopies. 